Hello, welcome to another one of my LPS custom collection videos. In this one I'm going to show you my Heroes of Might and Magic 3 inspired customs. I doubt many of you have even heard of the game because it's really old, it's like from the 90s. But um, even if you haven't played the game you still might recognize some of these customs from um, Google Images because I posted these a long time ago in my DeviantArt. Um, these were some of the first customs I ever made. Literally one of them is my first custom and this one is my second one. Um, most of these customs are like mythical creatures, dragons and unicorns and stuff, so even if you haven't played the game, you still might like the customs that I made from it. Um, I'm just gonna tell you the names of the characters, even though it probably doesn't say much to you, but yeah. Um, hope you enjoy this video, even if you haven't played the game. <laughs> so starting off, here is my Manticore custom. Um, looks like this, made from a Persian cat. As I already said, this was my second custom I ever made. You might have already seen this one in my questions and answers video because this was my first custom I ever made. This is a Greater Basilisk. Uh, sculpted additional legs to it. They look kind of rough, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna sell these because they're very, very precious to me because they're so old and make me nostalgic. <laughs> this is my Royal Griffin custom, also a character in the game. Um, this one was actually made from a G2 owl head that I combined with a G3 lion body. So it has like a huge head and a tiny body and I find it super cute. Um, if you want to know how to do the head swap, I'm gonna totally include that in my tutorial that I'm gonna make soon. I used a dry brushing technique on this one. Also, if you want to do that with your customs and you haven't seen my tutorial on it yet, there is one called how to make a distressed look. So that's exactly what I did with this one back in the days when I painted it. Fourth is my serpent fly custom made from snake LPS. Um, it has wings that are really, really fragile because they're just stuck to it with uh, little wires. So you can see, nothing special. Just one of my favorite characters from the game as an LPS. <laughs> Here is a slightly different character from the game. This one is called Hellhound. It's a little dog that becomes a three-headed dog when it evolves. But yeah, this is its baby version and it looks very friendly and cute, even though the character in the game looks kind of mean and horrible. Then we have my War Unicorn custom. This one I've seen reposted in several places. It's a really old custom, it's nothing special to me, but apparently many of you seem to think that it's very cute, so thank you for that. <laughs> Um, it's not for sale because, as I said, it's one of my first ones, so I'm kind of overly protective of these. <laughs> Here is my silver pegasus, sculpted tiny wings on the back and an armor for it. Next up is the green dragon. One of the first dragon customs I made. I really love how it turned out. I got to use a bit of my own creativity because since the game is so old, the sprites are all just like a jumble of pixels. So I got to kind of just be creative with the eyes and the expression and the details. So that was really fun when I was customizing these, just coming up with additional elements to the design that you can't tell from the actual game's graphics. <laughs> Here is my gold dragon. Here's my gold dragon custom. I love the eyes. It looks really haunting and creepy. Um, I've already told you this several times maybe, but uh, I made really many dragons from the game at one point, but I've actually sold most of them. I've also made a red dragon, a black dragon, a rust dragon, and those have all been sold already. So. Here is an azure dragon, also made from a crocodile like the last two that I showed you. One of my favorites because all the dry brushing looks really great on the details. And then for some completely different kind of dragons, uh, here is a crystal dragon made from a kangaroo head and a mouse body that I kind of completely reshaped and modified. It looks very different from the other dragons in the game as well, so it's it's appropriate, but it, it looks a bit weird. <laughs> and finally, here is a fairy dragon. It looks very cute <laughs> compared to the other characters. It has really cool wings in the game. Um, I tried my hardest when I made this back in the day. This was my 50th custom I had ever made, so obviously I wasn't as skilled as I am now, but um, I really tried my hardest and I really loved this custom when I finished it, so 
that's why I never wanted to sell it. And this is made from a seahorse, I just sculpted the little arms and legs to it, so it looks kind of like... Looks kind of like Spyro the dragon, to be honest, but yeah. <laughs> you, you couldn't really be able to tell that that these arms and legs weren't supposed to be on the base figure to begin with, so... Kind of proud of that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video with all these dragon customs and other strange mythical creatures and maybe this inspired you to customize one of your LPS into a dragon or a manticore or a basilisk or something else out of this world. So, hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me if you wanna support me and I will make more videos for you to enjoy later.